On February 23, 2008, shortly after takeoff, a United States Air Force B-2 stealth bomber crashed on the runway at Anderson Air Force Base in Guam. As one of the bomber's wingtips made contact with the ground, the aircraft's two officers ejected safely before the aircraft completely crashed. After the accident, a B-2 that had been in the air was ordered back to Anderson, where it and all of the other stealth bombers would remain grounded while the initial inquiry into the crash was conducted. Due to moisture infiltrating skin flush air data sensors, the research found that heavy rainfall was to blame for the B-2's crash. Airspeed and altitude are just two of the many metrics that can be computed from the sensor's readings. The B-2s were replaced with six B-52s. There was a loss of $1.4 billion due to the stealth bomber's only operational loss. Luckily, the stealth bomber's weapons bay was empty. According to the accident investigation, the bomber was carrying classified material on the morning it crashed while returning to Whiteman Air Force Base after a four-month deployment in support of Pacific Air Force's constant bomber presence.